All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Good to have you here. Welcome to yoga. Why don't we go ahead and get started since it's right on time. Let's get centered. So sitting tall in a comfortable position, it can be legs crossed. You could have legs extended forward. Heck, you could even lay down if you wanted to. We're just going to spend a few minutes starting to turn off our awareness of the outside world so that we can spend some time in here tonight. So sitting comfortably or being comfortable. If you are seated, relax your shoulders down your back. Feel the crown of the head lift up. And take a deep breath in and out. And feel the points of contact that your body makes with the floor here. Really aware of those points, those grounding points, the body. And it's almost as if the earth is rising up to hold you in this moment. The entire support of the planet beneath you. Maybe it feels good to acknowledge that, that you are so supported in this moment. Maybe even needing some support. Feeling that support of the earth ground into your breath now, aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. And just extend your breath a little bit here. So that means looking at how you're breathing now, allow your breath to be slightly deeper, slightly fuller as you inhale, and a bit more complete as you exhale. So going past the natural stopping point and just pushing a little bit more air out gently. So extending the breath in both directions, filling up a bit more on inhale, emptying a bit more on exhale. Just a few more of these breaths, feeling supported, breathing deeper. Good. So when you're ready, please take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring your palms to your heart, lower your chin, and just honor yourself as you are in this moment. Acknowledge this body, this breath, this energetic state, this state of mind that we are in. And it's in honor of that that we'll practice tonight. So go ahead and rub the palms together, creating heat and take the heated palms over the eyes, gently brushing over the top of your head, down your neck, over the body, bringing yourself on back. Good, welcome back. So we're gonna start off on our backs tonight. So if you are on any props, just go ahead and move them off to the side and come to lay down. Good. So with your arms down by your sides, and your legs extending down to the floor, become aware of the right side of your body. Really get it in your mind, which side of the body is the right. It'll come in handy here in a moment. And acknowledge which side is your left side. We'll begin to work a little asymmetrically here as we warm up. So with your next inhale, please lift your right arm toward the ceiling and then overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. And as you exhale, release that arm back down to your side. Then inhale, lift your left arm toward the ceiling and up and overhead. And then exhale, release that arm back down to your side. Inhale, right arm lifts. 
up and overhead, knuckles on the floor above you, and exhale, release that right arm down. Left arm lifts, inhale, up and over, knuckles on the floor above you, and exhale, bringing it back down. Do a couple more times, just the arms. Right arm, inhale. Exhale, release. Left arm, inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm. And exhale, down. We're going to add the legs this time, moving opposite arm, opposite leg. So with your inhale, lift the right arm overhead like before, but also lift the left leg into the air. Exhale, release the arm and leg down at the same time. Then inhale, lift the left arm and the right leg, left arm, right leg, and exhale, release down. Let's do the first side again, right arm, left leg, inhale. Exhale, slowly release both back down at the same time. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, release. Keep going. Right arm, left leg, inhale. Exhale, bringing it back down. Left arm, right leg, inhale. Exhale, bringing it down. We'll do a few more times. Keep going. Opposite arm, opposite leg, moving with your breath. The inhale brings the arm and leg up. The exhale brings the arm and leg down. Warming up the shoulders and hips a little bit here, getting the core engaged as well. Good, one more time on each side. Beautiful, the next time the left arm and right leg release down, go ahead and stop. <laughs> and just notice sensation. Good, and we're gonna do a bit more to warm up this body. So go ahead and hug your right knee into your chest. Just bring it on in and flex both feet. So both legs are activated and you'll feel a bit more of a stretch, a gentle stretch in the hip here. And then keeping the right knee drawn in, go ahead and hold behind the right thigh with both hands. And with your inhale, extend the right heel toward the ceiling, pulling the toes back, lengthening the back of that leg. And then exhale, bend the knee, bring it back into your chest. Inhale, extend the leg again, bring it up toward the ceiling. And exhale, bring it in. Let's keep going. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale. And exhale. Couple more times. Good, last one, extend and bring it in and release that right leg down to the floor. Good, and then we'll copy that on the other side. So go ahead and bring your left knee into your chest now. Like the first side, we'll stay here for a breath or two, just feeling that gentle stretch of the hip. Both legs are activated. Pulling the toes back on both feet. Okay, moving along, go ahead and hold behind the left thigh with both hands. With your inhale, extend that left leg toward the ceiling, reaching through the heel. Exhale, bring the knee back into your chest as you bend the leg. Inhale, extend. And exhale, bend. And just keep moving on your breath, extending as you inhale, bending as you exhale.
just starting to lengthen the back of that left leg. Let's do two more. Extend and bend. Extend. And then with an exhale, bend the knee in and release the leg down to the floor, feeling sensation. Good. And we're going to do a bit now to warm up your core. So go ahead and hug both knees into your chest. We love a little bit of core work. <laughs> and then extend both legs toward the ceiling, pull the toes back on both feet, and your arms come down by your side. If you feel like you need some support under the hips, you can just tuck your hands under the hips a little bit here. But as you hold this pose, notice the connection your lower back makes to the floor and try to keep that connection as we move through this next exercise. So take a deep breath in. With your exhale, extend your right leg forward toward the floor about four inches off the ground. And then inhale, pick that right leg back up. Then exhale, take the left leg forward about four inches off the floor. And then inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, right leg. And left inhale. Exhale, left leg. And lift inhale. We're going to do a couple more times on each side. Right leg. Try to keep the lower back connected. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, bring it up, right leg, and lift, left leg, and lift. Go ahead and hug the knees in. <sighs> Relax for a minute. <laughs> Just feel that gentle warmth in the legs and also in the core. We're going to do just one more exercise for the core right now. So go ahead and extend the legs toward the ceiling again. Pull the toes back. Tuck your hands under your hips if you need to. Again, the goal is to keep the lower back on the ground. All right? So take a deep breath in. With your exhale, lower your legs forward about 45 degrees, so halfway. And then inhale, bring them back up. Okay, let's do that again. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, back up. Exhale, halfway. Inhale up, a couple more times. Halfway. And lift. And we're going to try to hold this last time. So take the legs halfway forward or as far forward as you can without the lower back lifting and shake and breathe a bit. Soften your jaw. Three, two, and one. Lift up and then knees into chest. Hold on to the knees. And take a deep breath in and out. Good job. <laughs> All right, so from here, please bring your feet flat to the floor, heels underneath your knees about hip width apart, prepping for bridge pose. Heels underneath the knees, arms by your side to start. And with your inhale, you're going to lift your hips into the air, lift the arms into the air, knuckles on the floor above you. And as you exhale, release the arms and hips back down. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms and hips lift, pressing up. And exhale, arms and hips lower back down. Let's keep moving on the flow of your breath. Every inhale lifts you up, and every exhale sets you back down. Warming up the spine, creating length in the front of the body. A little bit of a back bend in your upper back here. So when you come into the full extent of the pose, you want to feel your sternum, your breastbone, turning toward your chin a little bit. Keep moving. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Try to keep the feet flat on the ground here as you lift and lower. 
especially anchoring the inside side of the feet, the ar uh, inside arch side of the feet. <laughs> This is also great to help stabilize the lower back, strengthen the glutes. And if you lift the hips as well, there's just a slight inversion for the internal organs as well, helping to take pressure off of the pelvis and all the muscles and organs that get stacked there. Okay, two more. I know we're doing it a lot tonight. And why not? We'll hold this last round. So with your inhale, lift the hips into the air, arms overhead, and stay. Again, feet are flat on the floor. Press the hips up. Your sternum, your breastbone, turns toward your chin, deepening the back bend in your upper back. And hopefully you're breathing. If not, just try to add that back in. Press up a little bit higher, stay for one more breath. Deep breath in. And exhale carefully, lower the arms and hips back down to the floor. Good, take an adjusting breath here, noticing sensation wherever you're feeling sensation. <laughs> maybe it's the thighs, maybe it's the lower back. And then from the stance you're in right now, so heel stacking underneath the knees, take your feet as wide apart as your yoga mat. And then walk your feet away from the hips about six inches, okay? Your arms can rest out to the sides. And we're just going to windshield wiper the knees from side to side, keeping the feet mat width apart, some wider than we had for bridge pose. This just helps to loosen up some of that tension in the hips and the lower back. And a muscle called the iliopsoas, which is this big wraparound muscle from your lower back around the side of the body and it goes down into the groin. Sometimes hip pain or lower back pain even is actually because this muscle is tightening. So this just helps to stretch that out a bit. So moving from side to side, loosening up the hips, Breathing deeply. Just a few more times from side to side. It's also a little bit of massage for the glutes, so that might also feel good. <laughs> All right, so take your time as you get there. But the next time the knees go to the right, just go ahead and roll to your right side and carefully transition up to hands and knees, table pose. Take your time with that transition. And once you're there, hands are underneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips are slightly further back. With your inhale, look forward. With your exhale, go ahead and release back to child's pose. Good, inhale, come back up to hands and knees. And we'll do that again, exhale, child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead toward the floor. Inhale, rise. And exhale down. One more time, inhale. Then exhale, child's pose. We'll stay for about three deep breaths. Just feeling some length in the lower back here as the hips guide toward the heels. Good, all right, inhale, come back up to hands and knees. 
Please curl the toes under and this time we'll lift into downward facing dog. We've done a little bit of work for the hamstrings, lengthening the back of the legs, but let's do a bit more. Bend one knee, extend the other heel toward the floor and then switch. So this is walking the dog out. We're just pedaling the feet slowly, one side and then the other. And as we're doing that, we're keeping length in the spine. So you're not rounding the back at all here. If anything, you're lifting the hips toward the ceiling behind you. And you're breathing and you're stretching. On for just a little bit longer. And then from downward facing dog, go ahead and walk your hands backwards to meet your feet coming into the standing forward fold. And you can bend the knees gently here and just fold over the legs, release the head, neck, shoulders, arms, jaw, just release everything, just fold here, just let go. And the upper body just hanging heavy over the legs. Again, it's okay to have the knees bent here. Okay, so bending the knees just a bit more, go ahead and roll yourself all the way up to standing, single vertebrae at a time, stacking the spine. Your head is the last to lift. Good morning. Okay. So for the next part of our warm up, I'd like you to take your feet wide on your yoga mat. So you have to turn to the side and have your toes pointing outward about 45 degrees and we'll work with a squat real quick. So you can have your hands on your hips here, but I'll have you take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, bend both knees out toward the toes, sinking down as far as you can, then inhale, straighten the legs. And let's do that again. Inhale, sink down, and inhale, straighten up. Exhale, sink, and inhale, lift. We're gonna do a few more, sinking down, lifting back up, sinking down. Lifting up one more time. And then inhale, lift back up. Beautiful. So you're gonna keep your feet this wide apart. We're gonna come back into that squat here in a moment, but we're gonna add some movement to this. So let your arms hang heavy in front of you. And with your inhale, you're gonna cross your arms in front of you, lift them up and then sweep them back around back in front of you. So cross, up, back, and down. Cross, up, back, and down. Feel the full rotation of the shoulder joints here. Forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back and down. Now, as you get this into your body, you can make it a bit more dramatic with the shoulders. You can really round it. You can really open them up. It's not just the arms that are moving, but it's most of the upper body. <laughs> so however expressive you wanna make this, it's completely up to you, but keep moving, keep rolling the shoulders around. And as you get that, two, a bit more established, I'll have you bend your knees, sink into the squat, keep moving the shoulders and arms around, try not to slap the thighs, try not to. <laughs> Working some of this tension out of the shoulder joints, creating mobility and flexibility in your upper back and in your chest, 
We're gonna go for about 15 more seconds or so. Good, one more time, up, back, and down, straighten the legs and take a load off, take a moment, just breathe. <sighs> Good, so there is a second direction to go. So before we were taking the arms forward, up, back, and down. Now we have to go back, up, forward, cross, and down, okay? So let's get it into our bodies first and we'll add the squat in just a moment. So we're taking the arms down to start. Then go ahead and sweep back, up, cross, and down. Back, up, cross, and down. Keep going back, up, cross, and down. Breathe. And just like in the first direction, you can make this a bit dramatic with the shoulders and the chest and the upper back and the neck. Breathing as you move. And when you are ready, just go ahead and bend those knees again. Try not to slap the thighs. Back, up, forward, cross, down, back, up, forward, cross, down. And go for about 15 more seconds. Try to keep the knees bent. One more time. Back, up, forward, and down. Straighten the legs, relax the shoulders. Good, so with that, we were moving around the, the trapezius, the tops of the shoulders here, which get really, really tight sometimes. What you might notice is some like pinpoints or isolated points of tension that kind of came up. Those are not, <laughs> those, are, those are, that's exactly what it is, it's tension. And we're gonna continue to help move that out as we continue our practice, okay? So I'm liking the squat thing we're doing. So let's just see if we can explore that a bit more, okay? So go as far as you feel like you can tonight. I'm gonna to take a deep breath in. With the exhale, you're gonna bend the knees, sink on in, and then bring your left elbow down onto your left knee, all right? And then sweep the right arm up and over. Both knees are bent. And then go ahead and come back to center. We'll straighten the legs this time. Good, arms out to the side for this now. Exhale, bend the knees and bring the right elbow down. Sweep the left arm up and over. And then exhale, come back up, straighten the legs. We do this sometime in chair yoga. This is just this without the chair. <laughs> so sink down, left elbow down, right arm reaches across. And then exhale, come back up, straighten the legs. And then exhale, bend the knees, right elbow down, sweep over. Good, exhale, come back up, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, elbow down, left elbow that is, sweep up and over. Now you have the option this time to either straighten the knees or to keep them bent, okay? And then exhale, right elbow comes down, knees are bending. Inhale, lifting the left arm up and over. Let's keep going a couple more times. You can choose to straighten the legs or you can keep them bent the whole time, but keep moving from side to side Good, bring the right elbow down, sweep up and over. 
And as you come out from this right side this time, do straighten both legs and relax the arms down. Beautiful, good job. <laughs> All right, so bring the feet parallel. Turn the toes forward. If anything, they're pigeon toeing a little bit here, turning toward each other. And then sweep the arms out to the sides, up and over. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Swan dive, fold down over wide legs, hands toward the floor. We're gonna stay here for just a little bit, nice symmetrical fold after some of that asymmetrical work. Feeling length in the backs of the legs, feeling length in the lower backs and traction in the shoulders and the neck. Breathing. Good, all right. With your next inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides with a strong back, lift yourself all the way up and bring your arms on down. Good job. <laughs> so whichever direction is the front of your mat, go ahead and turn that way and step to the top of your mat. We're gonna move through a sun salutation here. If you need a drink of water, go ahead and take some. Good to stay hydrated. All right, so have your feet about hip width apart. And we're gonna play around with warrior one pose today. I'll turn this way. So with your, with your palms to your heart, relax the shoulders down the back, find your breath, aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. And then we'll move with your breath. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. With your exhale, hinge at your hips and swan dive and fold down over the legs. Press palms to shins, come halfway up here, inhale. And exhale, fold down and step your right foot way back. Take the back foot flat to the floor, toes pointing forward about 45 degrees. There's an inner rotation of the right hip, bend the left knee, and then inhale, sweep the arms forward and up, coming into warrior one pose. Good. Inhale, straighten the left knee. Think about hinging from the hips as you fold down over your left leg. Stay for a breath. Good. And then carefully from here, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose. From child's pose, go ahead and slither down onto your abdomen and have the hands underneath your shoulders. Pelvis is grounding. And with your inhale, please lift your head, chest, and your legs up off the floor, coming into locust pose. And then exhale, float back down. Good. Curling the toes under, press the floor forward to push you up to hands and knees, and then coming back into downward facing dog. Staying for a breath here. Good. In downward dog, lift the right leg into the air. And then exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Now, if it doesn't make it all the way forward, you can reach down and grab hold of the ankle and help it through, okay? Your back foot's gonna turn flat to the floor, toes pointing forward about 45 degrees, and inner rotation to the left hip. Bend the right knee, inhale, come on up for warrior one. Good, inhale, straighten the right leg. Again, hinging at the hips. Go ahead and fold down over the right leg. Stay for a breath. Good, and then carefully step the left foot forward, coming into the standing forward fold. Palms to shins now, come halfway up, please. Chest parallel to the floor, looking downward, and exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a strong back, come all the way up to standing, and palms to the heart. Good, that was so much fun, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> so with your next inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, go ahead and swan dive, fold forward. Press palms to shins halfway up. And exhale, fold, this time step the left foot back, back foot flat on the floor, 
bending the front knee. Go ahead and sweep the arms forward, coming up into warrior one. Good, inhale straight in the right knee. Exhale, fold over the leg. Stay for the inhale. And exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come down onto hands and knees. And exhale, child's pose. Slither forward down onto your abdomen, hands under the shoulders, elbows bent. With your next inhale, lift the head, chest, and legs, locust pose. And exhale, float down, curl the toes under, push up to hands and knees, and back to downward facing dog. Once you're back in down dog, lift that left leg into the air. And exhale, step the left foot forward. Again, help it through if it doesn't make it on the first try. And then turn the back foot flat to the floor, toes pointing forward, bend the left knee, and then inhale, sweep up, warrior one on this side. Beautiful, inhale, straighten the left knee. Exhale, fold down over it. Stay for the inhale. And exhale, step the right foot forward, standing forward fold. Palms to shins, halfway up, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a strong back, lift all the way up, and palms to the heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Palms to shins. Exhale, fold, step the right foot back this time, back foot flat on the floor, bend the left knee, sweep the arms forward, come up into warrior, stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the left knee, and exhale, fold over it. Stay here for the inhale, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. And then slither forward down onto your abdomen, hands under the shoulders, pelvis grounds, locust lift, head, chest, and legs. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, push up to hands and knees, and back to downward facing dog. And then lift your right leg up. And exhale, step the right foot forward, help it through. Back foot turns flat to the floor. Bend the right knee, inhale, come up warrior. Good, inhale, straighten the right knee. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold down over that right leg. Good, and then go ahead and step the left foot forward, standing forward fold, palms to shins with your next inhale, come halfway up. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, come all the way up. And this time, just fold forward again. Hinge at the hips, swan dive down. Palms to the shins, halfway up. Exhale, release. Step the left foot back, back foot flat on the floor. Bend the right knee, warrior one. Straighten the right knee, inhale. Fold over at exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hands and knees, inhale. Child's pose, exhale. Slither forward down onto the belly. Good. With your next inhale, lift the head, chest, and legs, locust pose. And exhale, release down, curl the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. And from down dog, left leg lifts and bring the foot forward, help it through. Back foot turns flat to the floor, bend the left knee, warrior one. Good, inhale, straighten the left knee and exhale, fold over. Deep breath in and exhale, step the right foot forward, standing forward fold. Palms to shins halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Sweep the arms out to the side, come all the way up. Again, exhale, fold all the way down. Palms to shins. 
and release. Please step the right foot back this time. Back foot flat on the floor. Bend the left knee. Warrior one, lift the arms. Good, straighten the knee and fold over it. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, stepping back. Inhale down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose. Slither forward down onto your abdomen, hands under the shoulders. With your next inhale, locust lift, head, chest, legs. Exhale, float down. Curl the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts when you get there. Exhale, step the right foot through, help it forward. Your back foot comes flat to the floor. Bend the right knee, warrior one. Good, straighten the right leg. Exhale, fold over it. Deep breath in. And exhale, step forward. Standing forward fold. Palms to shins, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms out to the side with a strong back. Come all the way up. And this time, palms to your heart. Good. Feel sensation for a moment. Noticing what's happening in your body, your breath rate, your heart rate. Sensation. What your mind thinks about all that. And we'll go through one more round of this flow and we're gonna spend some time in it. So still standing at the top of your mat, finding your breath, moving with this breath. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. Palms to shins halfway up. Exhale, release at the left foot back. Back foot flat on the floor, bend the right knee, warrior one. And we're gonna hang out here for a moment. Feel the shoulders relaxing down the back. If it's too much, have the arms extended. You could also do cactus arms here. Just taking the arms out to the side like that. Now staying in warrior one. Sweep your arms down, bring your palms together in front of you, bring the palms to the heart like this, and then work the shoulder blades together and then turn the chest toward the ceiling a bit more, deepening the back bend in your upper back. Good, inhale, lift the arm, straighten the right leg, exhale, fold over that leg. Oh, good, just staying here for a moment. It's okay if this right knee is bending a little bit. If the floor is feeling far away, hands can be on the leg or if you have yoga blocks, you could use yoga blocks under your hands. Beautiful, all right, go ahead and bend the right knee and step back to downward facing dog. Hands and knees, inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Feeling the hips sink toward the heels, forehead toward the floor. All right, so from here, go ahead and come down onto your belly, slithering on down, and have your hands under your shoulders again, elbows bending and squeezing in towards your sides. Feeling the pelvis ground with your next inhale, lift the head, chest, and legs coming into locust pose. We're going to stay for about five breaths total, so lift up. Heart is looking forward, inner thighs are lifting behind you. Squeezing the elbows in toward your sides. Breathe, breathe, breathe.
Lift up a bit higher, inhale. And exhale, go ahead and slowly lower on down. Good, curling the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Staying here for a few breaths this time, feeling length in the spine, the hips are reaching toward the ceiling behind you, extending the back body. And we still have one more side to do to finish out this warrior series. So go ahead and lift your left leg high and step it on through. Help it forward. Back foot flat to the floor, toes pointing forward. Bend the left knee. Come on up, warrior. And hang on out here. Again, if it's too much to have the arms straightened up, you could do cactus. Breathing. Try to focus the eyes to a single point. And sweep the arms out to the sides, bring the palms together and bring them to the heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and turn the chest toward the ceiling a bit more. Good, inhale, straighten the arm, straighten the leg. Exhale, fold down over the left leg. Breathing here for a moment or two. Again, if the floor is feeling far away, you could use yoga blocks under the hands, or you could try to just hold on to the leg itself. Do what you can. And then from here, go ahead and step the right foot forward, standing forward fold again. Palms to shins halfway up. And exhale, release down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a strong back, come all the way up. And exhale, palms to heart. You can release your arms down for a moment if you'd like to. Again, just feel sensation in the body, what's happening here now coming out of this flow. Stay present with it. Deep breath in and out. And let your awareness come on back. Good job with that flow. We're gonna do one more standing exercise before we come back down to the ground and eventually to rest for a bit. So we're gonna do chair pose. And I'll give you some options for chair pose. The first option is to have the hands on the hips. This is probably gonna be the easier one. If you wanna make it a bit more challenging, you could do cactus arms when we come into it, or you can extend the arms straight up. Okay, at any point you want to change hand positions, go ahead and do so. For the base of the body, have the feet about hip width apart and have the knees apart as we come into it. So bring your hands into whichever position you want to be doing this in. Take a deep breath in and exhale, bend the knees, sink down. Try to keep the heart lifting here. If the hands are on the hips, squeeze the elbows together behind you. If your hands are in cactus, Try to take the hands back a bit further and elbows forward. This deepens the back bend in the upper back. If your arms are extending straight up, take the thumbs back further. Either way, we're deepening the back bend here <laughs> and we're breathing. Two more breaths. This is where you realize I breathe slower than you. It's all good. Then inhale, straighten the knees, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, folding forward again. 
And then from this forward fold, go ahead and transition into downward facing dog, stepping back. And then floating down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose. Good. All right. So coming back up to hands and knees, we're going to go ahead and roll over onto our backs again. So take your time making that transition mindfully, coming back on down. We've done quite a bit of work in a short period of time we've been together today. <laughs> okay, so once you're back on your back, <laughs> hug your knees into your chest and keep the knees drawn in. Take the arms out to the sides, making a T-shape with your body. Take a deep breath in. In with your big exhale, let the knees fall to the left side of your body. Now, as you do that, try to anchor this right shoulder and right arm back down to the floor. And you might even be able to turn your chin to the right as well. Left hand, if you want, can rest on top of the right thigh, not forcing the twist, just encouraging the twist. Breathing as we hold this pose, this rotation of the spine. Right, so when you're ready, carefully bring the knees back to center. Mm -hmm. Stay in center for a breath. And when you're ready with an exhale, let the knees fall to your right side. Feel your left shoulder anchor back behind you. And turn the chin to the left if you'd like. And if you want to, the right hand can rest on top of the left thigh, not forcing, but just encouraging yourself to stay in the twist. And we'll breathe as we stay here and twist. All right, with your next inhale, carefully come back to center, hug the knees on in. And then I feel comfortable here in these last few moments to gently rock from side to side on the spine. It also might feel good just to hold them still. There's no wrong answer, just pick one.
Right, so when you feel complete here, go ahead and extend the legs down to the floor and make yourself ready to rest here for about four or five minutes. Bring any support where you need it. And let the toes flop out to the sides, your arms resting by your sides. And the eyes closing. And you might want to take a deep breath in and out. Maybe that's a sigh as you exhale. The time for work is over. The time for rest is now. Anything that needs to be done will be done, but not right now. Let these next few minutes be a much needed gift to yourself. A moment of respite from all of the movement. Find yourself steady, supported, and still. Peace. 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 Please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. And make some gentle movements in your hands and feet, your arms and legs. And when you're ready, go ahead and roll to your right side. And taking your time as you come to a seat from here.
So once you're in a seat, bring your palms to your heart and lower the chin and honor yourself for the work that you have done here tonight. Feeling gratitude for all of the effort and work that you put forth. And may all of that effort and this practice continue to serve you. So until we meet again, namaste.